Okay, so I spent the whole of the first day yesterday playing Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, and I finally got my like first impressions, like a basic rough review, which I feel like is fair because most of the game is starting to feel like, you know, it's a, in a bit of a cycle now. So I'm going to divide this video up into topics, and the first topic is going to be graphics. Of course, the game looks... It looks stunning. It's beautiful. It's it's super colorful to the point where sometimes finding things in like these investigations is really tough because there's so many things standing out. You're like, what do I look at? And each different biome or like area of the map that you go to, the plants that you normally use for certain things for gathering actually change like the design. So you're like looking for the same plant for the same resource, but the design of the tree or the plant looks completely different, which is really cool. It keeps it refreshing and also like consistent at the same time, which is done really well. The world feels really, really, really well done. I actually haven't experienced any bugs with the graphics or actually in general, the only bug I experienced was like two NPCs disappeared and they were just like background NPCs. And I was just like, hey, that was weird. And that was like the only time out of like seven, eight hours of playing that something weird like that happened. I feel like they truly brought this world together with the with the way that the game looks, which is fantastic. And to kind of like tie this into sound, the ambient sounds and the sounds of this game are phenomenal. Like it feels like I'm there. They they really mastered the the way the game looks, the way it sounds. It's super immersive. It's it's really it's beautiful. I'd honestly give it a 10 out of 10 for like how the the, the game looks and sounds because it's I cannot flaw it. It just it's it's breathtaking when the game starts the gameplay kind of takes you through all these different systems and you're like wow okay cool there's a little bit of like zelda in here wow there's a bit of like um horizon zero dawn kind of style with like weaknesses on the enemies but it's also from like you know the how the how the movie was too right i feel like there's a lot of systems at play so it does take you a little bit of time like even though i'm like eight hours in i think i don't actually know how to track my time played but there's a lot to keep track of, even though it has been simplified in some regards, like gear and like, you know, different items and stuff. In other games, you're used to getting a ton of gear and random items that you don't need. In this game, the gear and the armor and the weapons and stuff is fine. Like you don't really get overwhelmed with that. It's pretty easy to control. The one thing I do find overwhelming is all the cooking ingredients, all the foods, because you're constantly like your inventory is full. You've got all these different things. And if you don't really lean into the cooking that much, it kind of just feels like oh, every plant is like you, you don't have inventory space or you don't really know how to use this yet because you haven't dwelled too much into cooking. At least I haven't myself yet. But I do like that the option is there. It does just feel like you are supposed to cook and eventually one day maybe I'm gonna start cooking like buff foods and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, I guess it's a mechanic that doesn't really work specifically with me. I just, I just wanna just run and shoot people and this game doesn't really let you do that. You gotta be careful. You gotta be, you gotta actually play like an avatar even though you're like this insanely big, like, you know, species compared to like little humans it feels super weird because people look like bugs when you find them and have to shoot them it doesn't mean that you're immune to all sorts of damage even if you play on like normal or easy difficulty it is still super easy to die you can't just run in there guns blazing or bow blazing and hope to come out victorious a lot of the times you'll probably end up dying you actually have to play very strategically you got to use cover you got to play with a plan and i like that in terms of the controls, it's pretty fun. Like like the, the parkouring, the way your character like runs and jumps and can climb everything, it, it feels insane. Like you can just like, you just like see all these mountains and trees. And you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna jump off here and just like do random climbing, running, jumping. It feels really fun doing it like that. The only negative thing that I experienced with controls was um, probably with the Ikran where you're flying around and it kind of just feels wonky sometimes, especially in combat. Like when you're trying to shoot with a bow, but then you're flying here, but then it doesn't like turn when you're, it, it feels like a little bit, it, I, I guess it's, it's hard to kind of implement because nobody has perfect aim to fly perfectly and aim perfectly at the same time. So sometimes you have to like stop flying. Like you gotta like go really slowly to aim, but when you stop, you get shot at. So the controls for flying feel a bit, a bit weird for me. Like it feels like it's holding me back but maybe I'm just like not experienced enough in it. But overall for the controls for everything else, I'm actually pretty happy with how the game plays. It feels smooth. It feels fun to like just run on foot and like, you know, actually use the bow and like shoot and swap between weapons. You know, like there's, that's all like cohesive with how it plays together, which is really nice. 
if we jump into our final topic, the story of the game, the story of the game starts out really cool. I love where it's going, but it does seem to kind of like branch out really quickly. Like, like the whole main purpose of the of the, the, the game feels like it gets sidetracked a lot once you get to the open world, which I guess is supposed to, you know, bring in the like the fun parts of the gameplay instead of being like a narrative driven story specifically. There are a lot of characters that get introduced to you. A lot of side characters are asking for different things. It does get hard to keep track of like, wait, who are you again? What am I doing for you? Who was that person that you wanted me to get early? Like, I'm gonna like, there's so many people involved that it's it gets a little trippy here and here and there, but there are a few faces that will stick out and you will remember the one weird thing with the story is that the amount of times that you like don't go back to the resistance base feels like odd. Like you, you like working for this resistance as like an envoy to recruit the, the other clans. But sometimes it feels like you just went straight out into the world and you're like, bro, I, I don't even know the resistance. I was there for like two minutes and now I've been in the open world just doing my own thing for like this, this long time. It does feel cool. There are parts where I had like problems with, like the one where you get to like the second clan and you can't fly there and the way you unlock flying feels super ridiculous. If you guys get an experience that you'll you'll see what I mean. It feels like, wait, what? Like I thought this was gonna be a whole quest line. What happened? <laughs> it's like it's super weird. But apart from that nitpicking, I, I I think the story is actually still pretty good. Like it it flows. The characters do feel alive. It does feel like you're helping them and saving them. It just feels like we're jumping from story to story really quickly. It does feel a bit rushed in that regard. I feel. But overall, on the entire game, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's a lot more than I expected. I did expect something like, you know, Far Cry, like Assassin's Creed. It does have a lot of those similar elements, but it's done very differently. And I think it's done in a way that's really enjoyable. I, I think they've like really taken the best parts of a few games and made it work in this little cooking pot. And I feel like it's, it's really fun to play. I'm actually really enjoying it. If you guys are playing the game, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the game. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this little review.